This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating changes in Gibbs free energy. The change in Gibbs free energy can be calculated using the following equation. Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. Delta G is the change in Gibbs free energy and is measured in kilojoules per mole. Delta H is the change in enthalpy, also measured in kilojoules per mole. T is the temperature in Kelvin and delta S is the change in entropy. Note that the units of entropy are joules per Kelvin mole. For a spontaneous process, delta G is negative, and for a non-spontaneous process, delta G is positive. In this table, we have the relationship between the sign of the delta G, the sign of the cell potential, and the value of the equilibrium constant Kc. So for a spontaneous reaction, delta G is negative, the cell potential is positive and the value of Kc tends to be large. For a non-spontaneous reaction, the sign of the delta G is positive, the sign of the cell potential is negative and the value of Kc tends to be small. Next we look at an example. Calculate the change in Gibbs free energy for the following reaction at 298K given the following data. So the reaction in question is the Harbour process in which nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia. In this table, we have the standard enthalpy change of formation values and the absolute entropy values of the reactants and products. Note that for nitrogen and hydrogen, the standard enthalpy change of formation values are zero. So let's start by calculating the entropy change for the reaction. So using this equation, the entropy change equals the sum of the absolute entropy values of the products minus the sum of the absolute entropy values of the reactants. So next we input the absolute entropy values, not forgetting to multiply by the coefficient in the balanced equation. This gives us a standard entropy change of negative 198.7 joules per Kelvin mole. Next we'll calculate the standard entropy change for the reaction. So the enthalpy change of the reaction is equal to the sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation values of the products minus the sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation values for the reactants, which gives us a standard enthalpy change of negative 92.6 kilojoules per mole. The next step is to input the values for the change in enthalpy and the change in entropy into this equation. So that's negative 92.6 for the change in enthalpy, the temperature in Kelvin is 298, and we have the change in entropy, which has been divided by 1000. We do this to convert from joules per Kelvin mole to kilojoules per Kelvin mole. So this gives us a value for the change in Gibbs free energy of negative 33.4 kilojoules per mole. The negative value for the delta G means that the reaction is spontaneous at 298 Kelvin. And finally we look at what temperature does the reaction become non-spontaneous. So a non-spontaneous reaction has a positive delta G value. So we can say that greater than zero equals the change in enthalpy minus the temperature times the change in entropy. When we rearrange the equation, we get the temperature at which the reaction becomes non-spontaneous is equal to greater than the change in enthalpy divided by the change in entropy. So this gives us a temperature of greater than 466 Kelvin. To check our answer, we can put this temperature in Kelvin into the equation. When we solve for delta G, we get a value of positive 0.193 kilojoules per mole. This positive value for the delta G tells us that the reaction is non-spontaneous at temperatures greater than 466 Kelvin. 